26 minutes before the top of the hour, and here's what's going on in the world of hip hop. Hype beasting. That's what's going on. Yeah, hype beasting. Click baiting people saying things to make you click on it to make you think, oh man, I'm about to see something really interesting. Case of point, I was on a website a little while ago, and they're like video footage released of Black China and her hairdresser with the, the knife and soda can fist fight. And I'm like, whoa, I'm intrigued. Tell me more. I click on this little TMZ video, and like, you know, you got the hairdresser standing at a safe proximity, chunking a can of soda at Black China's car. And Black China came out, you seen her take off her shoes. It looked like it was going to be like a stripper locker room fight, but it never really <laughs> escalated into the awesomeness which we hope for. Clickbait it as fine as you got me, you got me, you got me. It is time that I can never get back again. If you see that video story, don't watch it. It's a waste no, of time. No, I'm glad that fi- that China didn't end up fighting um, that hairstylist because she got a whole lot to lose. Yo, but what? how bad does your hairstylist got to be when you want to give her the fade? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what happened? It was... What's going on? Did you leave? Did you leave a relaxing too long? Listen. I got I got scalp burn, ho. Like I mean, like what got you to that point? Some of these style hairstylists out here be reckless, especially with a mouthpiece and doing way too much. And some of them can definitely get them hands. Oh, here's the thing: a lot of us sometimes maybe use our barber or hairstylist as like our psychiatrist. Not necessarily the best thing because there's gonna be another client that's gonna come in later and they're gonna know all your business. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Like pay- tell Sheka everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Most of y'all who got medical benefits. Go ahead and use that uh, twenty-five-dollar copay and go see a real licensed person with a couch. For real. I'm just saying. Moving on, another hip hop news. Shout out to the Muslims, mm. because it's like you know, currently Ramadan, right? Oh, and let me yeah. tell you something. I tried to rock with y'all for like two days. <laughs> I don't, I, in the name of Allah, I don't know why they, they pick the, the, the time of the year where it get dark the latest mm. to do the fast. They getting sexy out here, though. Yo, but like, you know, like the fast would be so much doper if it was like October when it get dark <laughs> at like 5 p. Right. I know, but they got men out right. here that are normally like medium, like on the heavier, on the, on the medium of medium, mm-hmm. and they're not eating and they letting their facial hair grow. They looking like a whole snack. I'm some, just saying. Mm-hmm. Some of them are going to be fat by September, but it is what it is. But like, you know, but shout out to you guys for pushing through and enduring and like doing what you got to do for your cause. You know what I'm saying? That's commendable. Like, it's hard. Because the last it's time hard. French Montana got real sexy, it was Ramadan. Remember, he got... He got all kind of yoga. Well, okay, French. And then um, the summer came. Yep. Think fast like Ramadan. Word to B-I-G. Mm-hmm. Moving on, another hip-hop news. Kodak Black. <laughs> what did he get arrested for the other day? He got arrested for lying on his gun application. And you're like, gun application? Hey, didn't you get in trouble? You ain't supposed to have a gun. You got it right. You're not supposed to have a gun, Kodak uh-huh. Black, whose real name is Bill, by the way. Um <laughs> He wow. tried to get a wow. gun in January and March, and prosecutors say he acquired weapons to at least one of those transactions. He lied on the app where he said he was not under investigation for a crime that could land him in jail for over a year. Was he under investigation at the time, though? Um, yeah, he's going to be under investigation for the rest of his life, because apparently he likes to eat crowns and he just doesn't make the best decisions. And he wears his hair like Seeley, so. Yeah, he does. So you're always going to get looked at. You're like a Living Simpsons character. Um, another person who is in a little bit of trouble is uh, is uh, my man YBN. Uh, I'm sorry, NBA Young Boy. NBA Young Boy. He got arrested after that shootout that happened in Miami. It didn't happen like right after the shootout, but they like, you know what? Yeah, we need to come talk to you. Now, what I'm hearing, at least what I saw on VladTV.com, and don't hold this as 100% fact, but they're saying the two like factions that were shooting at each other were T Grizzly's camp and NBA Young Boy's camp. Is he a like, basketball player? T Grizzly. The no, NBA kid. No, 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 he's just. <laughs> what is and that's, been- and that's the problem with these new dudes and some of their names. Like, There's yo. too many. Yo, like, yeah, NBA young boy does not play for the NBA. NBA? I was going to say, he going to lose all of that NBA money <laughs> all out here. All his endorsements. <laughs> Why? No, oh, but the story gets better. Let me kill the music for this. So NBA young boy actually has herpes. He's rapped about it. And uh, and he also used to snuff his girlfriend. But his girlfriend's like, nah, he didn't hit me. I'm just clumsy. And uh, But now he's with a new girl. Uh, his new girl got shot in the shoulder in a shootout that he had, allegedly, with no, T. Grizzly's oh camp. God, I can't. And, uh, yeah, and, no, and NBA young boy does not play for the NBA. He needs Come to go on to vacation Bible Rainbow. school. He needs some Jesus this summer. Yeah, shout out to all these new rappers who don't sound like rappers as much as they sound like coordinates. Man. <laughs> NBA Young. I just knew you were about to say he played for for somebody. Like you're going to lose his starting position. Right. Yeah, his starting okay. position is going to be in jail. Oh. Anyway. You know what NBA stand for in his name? Uh, never Broke Again. Ah, yes. 
<laughs> well, he'll have money on the commissary. <laughs> there you go. That's it for me for this other story. So follow with Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud, H-E-A-D-K-R-A-C-K. Shout out to everybody getting through that Ramadan. 